Hey guys, it's your girl Charisma. Welcome back to my channel. To all my new K Squad members, welcome to the family. Let's jump right into this review. <laughs> wig review today we're talking about the outre melted hairline lace front wig her name is seraphine i have her in the color number one you can go ahead and pick this up over at sogoodbb.com for $45.99 but with the coupon code you will only be paying $36.99 of course plus shipping so ma'am ma'am was on the fence about getting this um love the style but sometimes oh them styles can be misleading ma'am but what i can say about this is the exact way she looks on that stock card is exactly how she came out that pack so ma'am let's give her some snaps for that because girl that comes a dime a dozen when you get in these wigs, ma'am. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right to the cap construction. This comes with your standard two combs in the front, one comb in the back with adjustable straps. This is heat safe up to 400 degrees. This also comes with a five inch deep lace part, completely pre-plugged hairline and sideburns, pre-attached wide elastic band for a secure fit, natural baby hairs, and it's a redesigned comfort fit ear con tour ma'am now i did catch kai rashawn's uh review on this i thought kai was spot on on some of the aspects of the unit kai hates the pre-attached elastic band she said they give her headaches but me i love the band ma'am whenever the band is attached i do not have to wag with these combs i don't know if it has to do with sizes of heads like head sizes but for peanuts this works perfect for me. So I'm definitely here for the elastic band. I wish more wig brands would utilize this in their wigs. Cause girl, them combs be digging in my scalp. I can't take it. I already have like plaques up under this. So just think you're putting like your combs into like braids. No ma'am, I, I can't. I, girl. I can't deal with that. Now let's just go ahead and get into the texture of the unit. So this is a very soft, yakky unit. It kind of reminds me, who does this remind me of? It's giving me Kimura vibes, but Kimura was a lot thicker, uh, a lot more yakky textured than this one. This is very much in between. It's in between silky and yakky. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. But I would have preferred the density on this to be a little thicker because, ma'am, I can feel tracks in the back. And you guys already know how I feel about that. I don't like tracks in the back that I can feel. Y'all know how I feel about that. Anywho, yeah, the density on this definitely could have been a little bit thicker, especially since it's a super long unit. You always want, especially the back at least, to be a little bit more fuller, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So I was a little peeved about the density on this. Could have been thicker, but we working with it, ma'am. Now this also comes with a five inch deep lace part. I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at it. The part is absolutely perfect. Went in with some concealer. I was good to go, didn't have to whack with opening the part up or anything like that, the part was perfect. Now, as I'm opening up the stock card, I'm trying to see if you can style it differently, but it seems here, even on all three poses of the girl, this part is in the middle. So I wouldn't suggest you shift this from a left to a right. You could definitely keep it in the middle, you can flip the hair over the part if you want to, but I definitely recommend that you keep the part in the middle as far as styling is concerned. Now, what I did was, like I said, it was heat safe up to 400 degrees. So all I did was take my little hot comb. I can kind of just ran her across the top of the unit there. I also went in with my wax stick because there were flyaways all over the place. So I wanted to tame those. So I went in with my wax stick and I went in with my oil spray, which do not spray a lot of that. You guys can will weigh your wigs down, but I'm old school. I'm always grabbing the oil spray girl to keep them flyaways down. But I went in with that and it seemed to kind of tame them. Now, as far as the baby hair, the baby hair was very, very natural. I pretty much cut all of it off. In my opinion, you do not need baby hair for this unit, but once again, that's just my opinion. So I went ahead and cut the baby hairs off. Now I'm thinking if I was to wear this unit again, I would utilize my own baby hair for this unit. It was really no need for the other baby hair. Now, the hairline girl, the hairline girl. The hairline is the same hairline that's on the other wigs that I've reviewed from the Melted Hairline series. It's cool. The lace 
does melt into the skin but once again you have to go in with your spray your powder your concealer whatever you have to blend 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 that hairline what i was talking about with the other i believe two units that i reviewed i get that they want to give you like to give a sideburn but it just irks me to death once again because my head size is so small that it's hitting the bottom of my ear. Miraculously, I was able to pull that behind my ear, you guys. This is the hairline, you guys, that I did glue down and it is pulled behind my ear. If I pull this out from behind my ear, it literally goes down here, okay? I'm, I can't, I can't, ma'am, okay? I feel like I would look like an Ewok, like I cannot, Girl, no, I, I just I don't want to give Ewok vibes. No, but I think the hairline is nice. Now I did glue it with my got to be glue. Honestly, you don't even need that. The way that the, the wig is styled, you can hide this the, the hairline if you want to. But you know when that wing gets to flying, you you might be exposed. So just keep that in mind. But I very lightly glued that down. I didn't do it heavy at all. And that's another reason why I was kind of cool with, you know, not having the baby hair or whatever, because that just would have made it worse. You guys already know how I feel about got to be glue. I just, girl, no, I cannot with the got to be glue. Now, as far as the length on this unit, I'm going to go, ooh, 30 inches all the way down to my waist, ma'am. I am 5'3", so keep that in mind. I'm 5'3", teetering on 5'4", and it going, it's going all the way down to my waist. This is a super long unit. I love it. I love the layers in the unit as well. Now, these are long layers, and usually with long layers and thin units, kind of turn me off, girl. <laughs> it's turning me off, but... The, the way that this is styled is fine. It's fine. Usually, like I said, usually I, I would have a problem with that, with the long layers, with the long thin unit. But it's not too thin to where it just looks blah, if you understand what I'm saying. It's cool. I think it's also because I got her in a number one. I think if I was to get her in one of these colors that's on a stock car, like um, the Ginger Brown or the Golden Honey, it, you really would have been able to see those layers and how you know and that it's not like it's kind of like flat you know but i would have liked to see more layers in the unit just to add a little bit more oomph you know because she is kind of just laying like she's just there she, she just there girl but like i said i'm cool with that we can make her work now as far as shade and tangling is concerned i haven't gotten any tangling yet but i'm definitely knowing the tangling is coming i'm also getting a little bit of shedding here at the ends you guys so be mindful of that but i know that the tangles will definitely come the more i wear the unit so keep that in mind you guys usually with most long units synthetic and human hair because i know for some reason people think if it's human hair it's not going to tangle yes it is it, none of this is your hair. So if it's wagging on the back of your neck, it's go tangle, ma'am. I, I don't give a dang who hair you got on your head, okay? This comes in 10 different colors with six of those being specialty colors. Keep in mind, two or four dollars upwards if you want the specialty color, or you can just be like my bland self and pick you a number one and number two and go and buy your day going on. You don't have to worry about paying the extra two or four dollars because when you add that with that shipping, it's just like, oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. But like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and get specialty colors, keep that in mind, $2 or $4 upwards for the specialty color. In my opinion, this could be a throw on and go. But that's just because I could utilize my own baby hair, throw her on, do a little glue glue, and get out the dough. You don't have to be so integral with the unit if you choose not to. That's pretty much up to you. I think this is a nice unit that you could probably wear to work you know if you do you know nice little business suit you know your little layers you know do that then you could dress her up and go to dinner or do your brunch thing or whatever i think it's a very to me it's very simplistic and sometimes simplicity is good in my book so i don't have a problem with the unit at all i think she's absolutely gorgeous other than the couple of cons that i have with her i think she's cool i would recommend this if you are into long units that are a little bit thin but they have a little bit of style with them, girl. I would definitely recommend this. Would I purchase this again? No, would not purchase it again, but that's only because I'm lazy and I'm not. The Melting Hairline series is so beautiful, but I'm so friggin' lazy. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't purchase it again. It has nothing to do with the unit. I I'm just lazy, girl. Okay, dolls, if you guys approve of my content today, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. 
Also, don't forget to click my beautiful face. She's popping around here somewhere. That's the subscribe button. Go ahead and sub to the K Squad right now. Also, click on the notification bell. I've been getting complaints that some of you are not getting notified when my videos go live. I did hear from Jackie Yiner that some of you are getting text messages from YouTube when our videos go live. I don't know what that is about. But don't forget to click the uh, notification bell, you guys, to stay updated for me to go ahead and post my videos. And always follow me on social media at Christmas World on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. And until next time, beautiful ladies, stay beautiful and blessed. Bye.